Good morning, YouTube friends. Today, we are cleaning out a pen case. This pen case was gifted to me a few years ago from my friend Christine. And I, I mean, you can see it's expanded. I use this thing every day. This is when I journal, I grab this in my journal and it's like the perfect little match. Favorite pen case but it needs a cleaning. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's just, it's starting to look a little dingy. Um, there's pen marks and things. The camera is not going to show it as well as you can see it in real life. Um, but she needs to be cleaned. So I thought since I was going to go ahead and take everything out of her and throw her in the washing machine and cross my fingers that she doesn't die, that she lives through it, that I would show you guys what I have inside. I have not taken anything out. So everything you see is what always is inside my pen case. So let's let's dive in. On the front, I keep, I keep some pens on the front and then some inside. These are my um, pens that, so there's two fountain pens that are currently inked with a cartridge because I usually rotate between the fountain pens and it's just my crazy head how I do this but I like seeing an empty and so and I also have a ton of cartridges that I'm trying to go through so these two have cartridges in them and I save it when they when I run out of them I put them upstairs with my empties um, so that I can show everyone at the end of the year and I can see all the progress that I went through and then I will refill them now that I know that you can refill cartridges for 2023 as I use them and then also still get to see an empty. I know that's crazy, but that's just, I just love that feeling of using up a pen. So every day when I journal, I journal from one of my inked fountain pens that are inside. And then the next day I use one that has a cartridge. And then the next day I go back to one inside and then a cartridge and that's how I rotate. So. We have my very first ever fountain pen, which is the Pilot Metropolitan. I just pulled her out a couple weeks ago to start using her again because this was my first, but this is not the pen that made me fall in love with fountain pens. It was actually a Lamy. Um, but I, I pulled her out again and I, I re-fallen back in love with this Pilot. Then we have a Lamy. This is my Lamy Safari. The white, it's one of my favorites. Um, I have a friction erasable pen here. And then we have the Energel pencil, which honestly those last two rarely ever get used. So I probably don't need to put them back. So we're gonna move those over since we're cleaning out my pen case. All right, and then when you open it, this is what you see. I never zip this. This always holds my stamps. So let me show you, I'm, I'm a sucker for pretty stamps. So these are the stamps, that's where I keep all the stamps. Um, then I have a bright pink, you guys know I'm addicted to post-its. I'm going through all mine, I'm not buying any more post-it notes in 2022. And then I also have the Uni Jet Stream. I have a 0.5 and a 0.38 because in my planner I use the, um, Uniball Jetstream, where it's like, I think it's four plus one. So it's got a pencil and then black, blue, and red. And then these are the currently inked pens that I have. I have another Lamy. This is, I think this is a, what is this one? This is the clear, it's, I don't think it's a Safari. I'm not exactly sure the name of it. This, and it has a um, converter in it. This is inked with the, sheen machine ink and it's beautiful all right so that's gonna stay and then i got my moon man this is like look at this cute baby and this has got jade noir in it which is like my new favorite ink i'll be sad when i use up that sample that gail sent and then i also i'm gonna end up dropping stuff i also have one of my favorite pens that my husband actually got for me for Christmas. This is the Twisby Diamond, um, what is it called? Twisby Diamond, 
yeah, the Twisty Diamond, and it's got the, um, it's the rose gold. I love it. Okay, so again, I usually, all the inked ones, I'll use one day, and then I use one with cartridge the next, and I just rotate that. Okay, then we get into the deep pocket, and I have my watercolors. So I have the Jane Davenport um, watercolors, but, and this is a mess, everyone's probably gonna like gasp. I think I said that last week too. Inside here, obviously I have the Jane Davenport ones, but I also have, I don't know if you can see, Christine gifted me a bunch of watercolor little, I don't even know what these are called. They're not, are they samples? Let's see if I can kind of show you guys. So I keep those in there. And then I've also added, so inside with the Jane Davenport, I've added three other watercolors. Um, I'm slowly building my collection. Um, I think those, I don't think they were Daniel Smith, but they were like Daniel Smith knockoffs. So that stays. Okay. Then we have some ballpoint pens that I use, two of my favorites. This one I got at a, um, I actually got it at Repticon, which is crazy to think about. But this is like my magic wand ballpoint. And then my father made this one. It's got an M on it. So I keep those in here. I also have a lighter for candles and things. I love this lighter case. It's just, it's stunning. All right, I gotta make some space here. I have tabs for when I'm reading. More post-its. There's lined, there's yellow. I also keep my, I keep a couple things in here. I keep my photos of the, I did a year ahead pool and these are specific to the seasons. So I've already gone through my winter and then my spring journal has the image in the front of it of the ones I pulled for spring. And then these are summer and fall, the ones that I have to explore once we get there. Then I have this, a friend sent me this really sweet card because that is the animal that I am working with for 2022. And so she, oh, I love it. And then she also did like this sign and element. Um, bat stands for darkness, letting go, death that leads to rebirth. And I, I just love having that in there. It stays with me all the time. So, we're just gonna keep pulling. Obviously, my favorite glue stick, you guys know, is the Scotch Permanent Glue Stick. I have a water brush because of the watercolors. This that I got with my Hobonichi in 2021, yes, it was one of the gifts that came with it, and I love it. It's a, um, a Hobonichi Techo handwriting, I think it's technically, it's a Pentel sign pen, actually. I did not know that love this thing so i keep that in there i also have my um, traveler's company pencil the brass pencil love that thing an eraser and then we have aquaphor <laughs> for tattoo healing but chapstick like i use it for all the things we have two different washi tapes because again this is something i do i pick two until I go through them and then I'll pick another two. So these are the two that stay in my case. I have a stapler, because I like to add things to my planner. And then we have these little, um, I don't even know what you call these. I think technically they're called washi stickers. These are the two I'm going through and I don't use anything else until I finish them. And so far, so far I've been trying to stick with the pink one. So I'm sure you guys will see these in my um, empties video eventually, but it's very cool because you get these like really cute, like little images and then you can just pull off the back and it's a sticker, peaches. So yeah, they're just fun, fun to play with. Okay, so I have those and then we're all empty. So now, cross your fingers. We're gonna throw this on a delicate cycle in the washing machine and I will be back to tell you how she fared. 
before I do that, I just realized I have more stuff in here. So we have an eraser and a pencil sharpener for my Traveler's Company pencil. Now, let me tell you, I just dropped a washi. When you get down low with the Traveler's Company pencil, you can't, you can't really, like when you can't erase that much more, that doesn't make sense. When you get down where you can't erase anymore and you replace, because I do have replaced um, the eraser and I've gone through one pencil already, um, you still get this really big chunk of an eraser. So I don't want to throw it away. So I've been trying to use it instead of this one so that I get every little piece out of it. Anyhow, now we're gonna throw this in the washing machine and see what happens. She didn't die. I did wash her just on a normal cycle without anything else inside. And I even put her in the dryer. I was gonna let her air dry, but changed my mind. And it did so well. Um, way less dingy. Everything came clean except for some of the permanent markers because I try to use um, archival permanent ink. And so when that gets on your things, it doesn't come off. So there is a little bit of paint and some permanent little marks, but I am very happy with how it turned out. There's a little bit of mark there, but all clean. And now I'm going to put everything back inside of her. Thank you guys for hanging around and listening to me ramble. Until next time, enjoy your wild, sexy lives.